Hi, I'm Dr. Arthi Thangadu. I'm a diabetes thyroid and hormone specialist. And as you know, if you are a returning viewer, or will soon come to find out if you are a new viewer, diabetes is my passion. I like to call it my third child. Before we get started, please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to help me get the message out. I'm gonna start by going over something I discuss with all of my patients who are struggling with type two diabetes. And that is, what causes diabetes? Well, I ask every single one of my patients this question. And even if they've had diabetes for 10, 20, 30 years, it is really rare that they know. And this is just mind boggling to me. Um, I think it is so unfair for patients to have such limited education on the diseases that they have. So what causes diabetes? Well, let's start with normal physiology. There is an organ called the pancreas. It sits in your abdomen and it secretes a very important hormone called insulin. Insulin, one of its major duties in the body is to help regulate blood sugar. Now, normally the liver produces sugar all day long. That is because we need sugar for energy. And while we're sleeping, our brain still needs to function, our heart still needs to function, our lungs still need to function. So while we're sleeping, the liver is constantly producing sugar for energy for all of our bodily functions. So the pancreas in turn sputters all day long and secretes insulin to regulate that sugar being produced by the liver. In the endocrinology world, we call that basal insulin. Now, there's another time that our pancreas turns on. This is when we eat, when we get a burst of carbs. In these times, the pancreas secretes a little burst of insulin. So in the endocrinology world, we call this bolus insulin. So the pancreas works in two ways with regard to insulin secretion, basal secretion and bolus secretion. Now, when we start to gain weight or become obese or have a very high fat diet or we have genetic predisposition, we become resistant to that insulin that we produce. Insulin resistance is a major part of the development of diabetes. So what does that mean? That means that the pancreas is producing insulin, but the body doesn't know how to use it. Normally, when the sugar in the blood gets too high, a little gate opens up between the bloodstream and the muscle, and the sugar gets taken up by the muscle, and all is well in the bloodstream. The sugar doesn't get high. Now, when we are insulin resistant, that pathway is impaired. That, that communication between the bloodstream and the muscles isn't working. So when our blood sugar gets high, we lose the ability for our muscles to take up the excess sugar. And the sugar essentially gets stuck in the bloodstream, leading to high sugars. Now the pancreas responds by producing more and more and more insulin, but the insulin isn't working. Our body is resistant to it. And while insulin is a wonderful hormone, we need it for life when it is in excess, it makes us gain more weight. So this turns into a vicious cycle of insulin resistance, high sugar that can't get taken up by the muscle, leading to higher insulin levels, leading to weight gain, leading to worsened insulin resistance. Now insulin re resistance occurs somewhere else too. Remember we talked about the liver? Well, insulin resistance occurs at the level of the liver as well. As we discussed, the liver produces sugar all the time. But when we eat a cupcake, for example, insulin turns on and says, hey liver, stop making so much sugar. We got it from our diet. Now, when we have excess body fat, excess dietary fat, the liver gets filled with fat too. And that signaling between insulin and the liver's production of sugar gets impaired. And so the liver 
produces sugar and doesn't listen to the insulin. At the same time, the insulin levels go up, trying to yell at the liver saying, stop making so much sugar, we've got enough, we've got too much actually, but the liver isn't listening. So it just is secreting sugar willy-nilly. And so now we have another vicious cycle of insulin resistance at the liver level. Liver is producing too much sugar, the blood sugar is high, the insulin level is high, leading to more weight gain, and a vicious cycle of high sugars, high insulin, and weight gain. This is the basics on insulin resistance. The good thing is there are some things that we can do with our lifestyle and sometimes with medications that can improve insulin resistance, that can move patients from insulin resistant to insulin sensitive. And my personal goal for my patients is to help them optimize their lifestyle to maximize their insulin sensitivity, to reduce their needs for medications, and to reduce the burdens of diabetes. It is possible and keep watching to learn more about how. Again, please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you'd like to hear more content from me. And I'd love to hear what you guys would like to hear more about. Thanks so much for watching.